audio, the mic audio. Let's turn on the music. I assume I'm going to be waiting for... Yeah. Like, we're not going to be starting until everybody's here. Yep. Well, I mean, we'll be starting. Everybody's ready and lo like able to go live. Uh, looks like yeah. within their offsets. How is everybody doing today? Thank you for joining me here for the Dog Pound Classic. It is handicapped so that everybody has a chance at the race. How this works is we take everybody's PB and compare them to the lowest runner of all of them. What we then do is we take all of those different times, we handicap it out. So if, let's say, a real cutie was an hour faster than 123JRF, then a real cutie would start one hour after 123JRF. We have this race, our biggest dog pound classic yet. Oh, I just moved something. That is not how I want to do that. There we go. We've got 123 JRF. We've got Benergetic. We've got Cold Cheesh. We've got PJ Mexican. We've got Swap Space. We've got Krokemeyer, Mr. J Giggles, Sloters, and O Real Cutie all here competing today for the grand prize. It's gonna be an exciting day. Looks like we've got everybody here live. We've got all of our different offsets. Let's go over those real quick for those of the, for those who are interested. One, two, three, JRF will be our first runner starting with a zero for his offset. Followed by Benergetic, three minutes, 55 seconds in. Then Cold Cheese after eight minutes, four seconds. PGI Mexican at 8.59. Swapface at 9.46, Brokemeyer at 13.33, Jay Giggles at 16.30, Sloters at 19.47, running old routes, so that is his old route time, and a real cutie running 20.03 as his offset. I'd like to give a shout out to all of our runners. Make sure you follow all of our runners drop them some love we could not be doing this here without all of our runners here today this is my favorite event of every single month just a great way to get the month started it is the first saturday of every month people so if you like this you will see another one every saturday this is open to all, all you gotta do is watch the channel hit that follow button jump into the discord and put in your name into the dog pound classic channel in discord that will allow you to run in next month's race it is open. We take the first nine submissions. We can bring it up a little bit if we have to, but nine is typically the max, as you see here today. So we've got everybody live here. Hopefully everybody who is not in the race channel will be able to uh, see in the Discord chat channel. We're gonna give it another minute or two. Obviously, Krokemeyer already keep... ahead of his prior up, performances in the Dog Pound Classic just based on the fact that he did not fall asleep prior to this race and missed the entire tournament. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. That's only happened to him twice now. All right, let's fix up Jay Giggles' spot here. When a runner is eliminated, you will see this go up right there. It will take the spot there. Make sure, and then we will just paste that over them. So if Krokemeyer were to be eliminated, we just pop that little Super Metroid up over him. All right, at this time, nobody, however, is eliminated at this point. We've got all of our runners here. We're about to start. We do have to, just for the runner's information, we do a dot done in the Discord to make sure that we have the most accurate completion in case anybody is running really close. All right, we're going to mute everybody up. One, two, three being the first one. Are you ready to go? Yep. And All make right. sure you set the race time to zero. Yep, yep. I uh, will do that. I have the chrono here. I just have to click start. It won't update until I start it, though. All right, I'm muting everybody up. All right. Muting one, two, three. Muting Benergetic. Muting Mr. J Giggles. 
muting a PGA Mexican. Muting Sloters. Muting everybody. Muting Swappy. Muting a real cutie already done. Is there anybody I have not muted? I think I've muted everybody. Croak is muted as well. We've got everybody here. Hey, Shreddy, how you doing? Glad to see you here. Same with Frey Guy. Glad to see you as well. All right. We are going to count it down in three, two, one, go. All right. We will have our first runner here off to the races then. We're going to have one, two, three, JRF starting in the top left gonna make his way through series a lot of runners here a lot of competition we're gonna see how this goes all of the runners everybody has a chance doesn't matter how good how bad your pb is it matters how well you do in comparison to that pb we've got one two three jareff making his way down over across to ridley not gonna have any problems here this is the most uninteresting game to comment section of the game to commentate because just it's all the same things Although you may want to keep an eye on Colchis in the top right once he gets started, he is the only player that I know to run on a fight stick without a stick. I have never seen that before in my life, and yet somehow he has managed to PB twice today. We're going to see it's going to make his race a lot more difficult. All right, hello, Colchis. Hello, Woody. Hello, everybody here watching us today as 123JRF is making his escape. We do have Benergetic there waiting on that offset to count down. You can see his timer a little bit there as 123JRF making it out. Is he going to catch any of that steam here today? That is what we're going to find out. Kishumo says he is rooting for Mr. Mexican with that Mexican emo. 123JRF looks like he got a little bit of steam there and the door. Oh, another bit of steam, but he's having no problems making it out. Let's see if he makes it up, clean up this last room on his way out. Little bit more steam, not letting him phase him. However, he knows there is a lot of time left in this race here. Like escaping with a 41 of 54. Yo, Helksan, how are you doing? You're rooting for a crate that you must be coming out of Jay Giggles, people. How are you doing here today? Glad to see ya. All right, coming through here we have. Looks like a little under two minutes from the start of our second runner as 123JRF hexes his way to series. Krokemeyer looks like he's practicing a bit here in the pink room as Sloters practices Fantoon, definitely a difficult boss to take care of in any route. Definitely is a lot of time to be lost in Fantoon. If you're going three tank in old route, definitely a dangerous boss as well. More dangerous than new route, however, both pretty dangerous. You want to watch what you're doing. Soldier's making a great decision here to practice that. We have 123JRF here headed down the parlor looking for his Nano with some ice cream in the parlor as he makes his way down the climb. Are we going to see? Are we going to see the Moonfall here or not? It looks like we've got a Moonfall attempt. He's going down, down, makes it through the platform. No difficulty whatsoever. Going to make it across pit room. Jump one. Jump to, oh, he's doing little short bunny hops to make sure he avoids it. We now have all of our runners here live on stream, including our late, late, late bird, PGA Mexican. But he does get up for every one of these races. You've got to hand it to him. Definitely has the fashion sense of the entire Dog Pound Classic. That is what he is most known for. He's hoping here to be known for winning the Dog Pound Classic. His second ever attempt here to win the Dog Pound Classic. 123JRF grabbing that morph ball while Benergetic getting close to the start here. 123JRF taking that out, gonna head towards those alpha missiles. Benergetic looks like he's trying to hype himself up. He looks like he's getting ready. PJ asking, practicing crate definitely been a problem for him here. Oh, real cutie, you forgot to say your timer. Can you give me like a two minute warning on Discord? Um, I can try. I forgot to start the race timer, which is unfortunate. So we're going to try and fix that here. 123JRF does not have a timer going, however. So we will try and figure this out. Uh, Better Dragon is at 3.55, 3.55, so 5 minutes would be 105 into his timer, and then we'll get that started. That is my mistake. Um, I will, uh, I'll try to, uh, real cutie. I will definitely try to. All right, so waiting for that 105 mark because I make mistakes. 
All right. So let's see. We've got it at. We've got a small delay here. Let's see. So we're gonna start it at about one o'clock. That'll be about accurate, close enough for our measures. And we've got Benergetic here in the Ridley room. We've got one, two, three. Jr. making his way up the climb, going for the wall climb. Definitely. Oh, a little bit of that is what makes the wall climb a little bit more dangerous here. All right, now we have the race timer started. It's probably close. And we've got one, two, three. Jr. still making the way up. Does have Naya energy? Should not have any problems with the bomb chalupa here. And I will try for you. Okay, Google, set an alarm for 14 minutes and 30 seconds from now. All right, that should allow us to help out of Real Cutie here. <laughs> Frey Guy, all right. Make sure you get signed up for the next race, Frey Guy, if you are interested. We've got one, two, three. Jera fighting the bomb chalupa. Is he gonna go for the knockback strat? We'll see. As Benergetic about to touch down, Cold Cheese about two minutes away from starting. One, two, three. Jera not going for that. Just going for the. Oh, he does get him to bounce back. Not a difficulty at all, but only getting two missiles there. Definitely not gonna be optimal, but is gonna be a good time here out of bomb chalupa. If bomb chalupa is nice with the drops, we do have the missiles. We do have. Oh, we do. We have the one, a two, a three, a dribble play. Not a problem whatsoever. As one, two, three. Jera making his way out. Benergetic himself is touching down on series. About to not series on Zebes. Zebes, Zebes, the good time. We've got Krokemeyer practicing random crap as Benergetic here is making his way down the parlor. One, two, three. Jeraf did not get the missiles he needed on the way out, having to take a little detour here. We're going to see how that works out for him as he makes his way up here. One try at Alcatraz. Will he get one try? We are on two. Two try. Three try up and through, no difficulty there. One, two, three, Jeref continuing to make his way along. Is he gonna go for Terminator? Gonna be a little bit more difficult here to get that Terminator. All right, one, two, three, JRF, Mogballin into the energy tank while Benergetic heads down to get that morph ball. We have about a minute left until Cold Cheese starts. PJ Meskin, we don't know what he's doing. He's sitting behind the desk. He's having a good time. We've got Swap Space sitting patiently, Krokemeyer practicing random stuff. A real cutie, don't know what a real cutie is doing either as Slower is continuing to practice Fantoon. Mr. Jake Eagles once again. Patient, patient, sitting there on the start screen, not wanting to miss anything as 1-2-3 Jera is about to head down to the business center. Benergetic here going for those alpha missiles, and we are 38 seconds away from Cold Cheese here. 1-2-3, a JRF going down, down in an earlier round. Not going to business center because I don't know what I'm talking about because there's things happening. And he's going towards the super missiles. Mr. J Giggles needs a two work. He is saying he needs to rest his D-pad thumb. I definitely can relate to him there. One, two, three, Jarev not going for the reserve tank. Definitely not a thing most runners take, so that's not surprising here as he grabs the super missiles. Benergetic now making his way up the elevator. Gonna go to the reverse pit room. Where his game has gone, I don't know. Don't know what happened to his run. Did he... Did Benergetic die? What happened to Benergetic? Did anybody see? I look away for five seconds. It's hard to keep track of all these runners. But it looks like Benergetic may have... Oh, his emulator crashed. Oh, no. That is unfortunate. Benergetic, however, being the bigger man, continuing to run. However, all right, one, two, three, Jareff definitely got some breathing room here as Cold Cheese is now running, making his way into the Ridley room. He's got the missiles. He's going to go for the charge beam. Toasty Muffin, how you doing? I'm a day of Zeno. How are you doing here? Welcome to the stream to the Dog Pound Classic, the hypest Super Metroid event, the first Saturday of every month. You will never find anything else like this in the community. I love putting it on for all of you. I love to be able to share this lovely experience the first Saturday of every month with everybody here. Once again, we want to thank all of our runners. One, two, three, JRF. 
Benergetic, Cold Chief, PDA Mexican, Swap Space, Kropemeyer, Mr. J, Little Sloters, and All Real Cutie all competing here today for the biggest Dog Pound Classic that we have ever had. We've got PJ Mexican coming. He is started here and now gonna make his way towards Ridley as 1, 2, 3, JRF is about to head into the Red Tower. Benergetic fighting that steam, making the way out. Cold Chief is just a little bit ahead, but a little bit of a stumble there for both of the runners. It's gonna be very close. And, oh, Benergetic pulls back ahead of Cold Chief. Bust a little bit. He's gotta be happy about that. Rooting for your friend, Ben? Yes, Ben has been around in the dog pound for just a little while, but he is definitely excited here to play in the tournament today. Love him. Definitely one of the members of the dog pound classic. Love to have him. Love to have every member of the dog pound classic here today or any other day as Colchich and Benergetic both headed down to Zibis while PGM Mexican is about to make his escape. How is that escape going to go? We will see how steamy it gets over there. All right, we've got one, two, three. JRF headed over to Craig. Going to be the first player to hit on a boss. Benergetic Colchis pretty close to a sink. This is interesting. Sloters is running at a 44. He is running old route. We've got one, two, three. JRF doing a little bit of farming here on his way to Craig. Might know that he has a little bit of room here on Benergetic after that. Simulator crash as Colchis headed down the parlor. Was that a moonfall in the parlor? I don't know, but it sure looked like it. Benergetic going for the moonfall here. Colchis going for the moonfall as well. Both runners opting for the moonfall, having no difficulty pulling off that strat whatsoever as PGMFC heads down to Zivit. What is the JRF energy is a little bit low, but picking up all of the supers that he needs to continue. We're going to see here if the quick kill does happen for 123JRF, but that 47 energy should definitely be a concern. He could definitely get health bombed here when Kraid goes down. This could be a little bit of a time loss. Benergetic here about to grab that morph ball while Colchi's hot on his heels trying to make up that little bit of time that separates the two runners. We've got PGA Mexican here about to touch down as Swap Space making his way out of series. He's about to head to the steam. How is Swap going to handle the steam here today? We will see. He jumps. He jumps. No steam yet. No steam so far. One more room. Will he miss all of the steam or will it catch him? No steam. Ooh, but gets hit by a little bit of debris. Coming in at a 48-45. A 45 is definitely possible. It's going to be very difficult. We'll see what kind of a time he has coming out of series. 45, 44, 29. 1, 2, 3, JRF missing that quick kill. Not worried whatsoever, however. Going to hope for some good super drops here. Ooh, and he does get the health bomb that I was expecting. That is unfortunate. He will have to farm up some supers here. Benergetics SNES 9X looks like it may have crashed again. Oh, nope, it's still going. Thank God it is still running. We do not want to see that happen here again today. But, however, that lockup of SNES 9X does give Colchis the time he needs to pull ahead. BJ Mexican here hot on their heels, grabbing that morph ball as Swatsway is touching down on Zivis. Hopefully all of our runners do have their timers set. Krokemeyer will be the next runner at some amount of time. I don't remember how much. Krokemeyer would be at 13.33, so he's going to be starting in less than a minute. Definitely one of the runners who's been here for quite a few of the Dog Pound Classics. Not recently, however, but he was a very regular competitor in the early days. He was also a very regular napper. But, I mean, what are you going to do when you live a hard life like the Croco Boy does? We've got Swap Space here going for the Moonfall as well. PGA Mexican will did go for the Moonfall as well. So, of the first five runners, all five runners have done Moonfall. That is not something I have picked up. So they're making me look foolish. All right, we've got swaps. They headed down. PGA Mexican headed up, locking hands and kissing on the elevator, just like Samus intended. As one, two, three, JRF here headed down to business center. Benergetic headed over to Bomb Chalupa. Gonna try and make up some of that time on Colchis. We'll see how both of these players handle here. All right, we've got Krokemeyer should be starting here shortly. Looks like he is now started. Cold Chief's working on it. Taking out the Bomb Chalupa. We got Benergetic in the Bomb Chalupa. A little bit of a hit there. A little bit of damage. Not having any difficulty, though, grabbing those missiles. And we have Cold Chief's taking a down the Bomb Chalupa with the 5 4 3 throw play as Benergetic's entire stream looks to have frozen. Look, might be having some latency issues here. 
that is however going to continue to put Benergetic behind Cold Chase here. We'll see how this works out. He's going to want to make up that time as quickly as possible. There we go. Do a little bit of a quick refresh there. Puts us back about to live where it needs to be. As we've got 123JRF coming out here. Definitely taking an interesting way to get out. Not the way most runners go. All right, we've got PJ Mexican in Bomb Chalupa, or as he likes to call him, Bill Cosby. Is he gonna get the five, four, three, one, two? All right, I don't know if he's even timing this. He's just shooting at large. He does not. B does not get the five, four, three throw play. Definitely still a lot of time. One, two, three. JRF choosing to farm here. Gonna pick up those missiles because he cannot get through the door right now. This is a most unfortunate turn of events for our young runner here. Benergetic continuing down, going down, down the elevator. Colchis just a little bit ahead of him. Both headed for those super missiles. Wow, Krogemeyer has escaped series. I'm not an alpha gamer. That must explain why I don't do it. Benergetic here going for the missile. Colchis already about to hit them. Krogemeyer touching down. Swap space grabbing the more fall of bombs. Gonna take on the bomb to Lupa as PGA Mexican going for that Terminator, grabbing that energy tank. This is only going to get more hectic, people, as all of our runners start to chime in with their starts. Right now, we have six players started. Jay Giggles will be the next at the time of 16.30, so about 30 seconds until we have Mr. Jay Giggles starting here. We've got Sloters will come in at a 19.47 and Arc at 20.03. 123 JRF coming through the rising lava room. Don't know what the actual name is, but he's making his way through without any difficulty. Still, no supers. Gonna have to pick one up here coming along. Definitely a scary time. What is that energy? 302. Okay, not scary at all. Cult of Energetic Stream needs to stop popping up because what is going on with that? All right, 123 JRF grabbing that single super that he needs. Going to need to do a little bit of farming as Benergetic grabbing those missiles on the way to charge. Colt is just a little bit ahead coming out of charge. Going to head to Green Hills. I'm going to see how he handles this mock ball. Definitely an impressive one. And he got that Green Hill Zone mock ball. However, not learning from Kishumo that you can avoid that bomb as PGA Messi and going for the advanced strategy he's been trying to learn. Having a little bit of difficulty with these advanced strategies while Swap Space is headed through down the elevator. Mr. Jay Giggles has started. He is in series, about to take on and then lose to Ridley. All right, we've got Mr. J Giggles taking on Ridley. Soldiers continuing to practice. A real cutie waiting to get started. Nope, I don't forget any strategy that Kishumo has taught me. All right, so we are continuing here. We've got one to be JRF. Making the way up the wave gate room. A little bit of difficulty to be had here is PGA Mexican. Are we, did we, was that a spark? I have never seen a spark use there before. His Benergetic makes his way to Craig. Mr. Jay Giggles making his way out. He's going, oh no! That is a fall by Mr. Jay Giggles. He has to be upset about that one. Coming out with a 37.57. All right, so continuing here, we've got Jay Slaughter will start at 1947, about a minute away. 123JRF has the wave beam that he needs. While we've got PGA Mexican headed over to Crade, we've got Coltis about to get into Crade. Benergetic just slightly behind him. The quick kill could be the difference between the runners here. PGA Mexican already made up quite a bit of time on these runners here. We've got Drop Space coming down Green Hill Zone, getting hit there, bonking once again. Krokemeyer, however, about to try and get that 5 4 3 triple play. Oh, we've got the missiles, but he did miss a few of those missiles. 
This is a dangerous time here as Mr. Jiggle's about to head down to Parlor for Nana's ice cream. Krokemeyer not getting it, does not matter. Krokemeyer definitely one of the more talented runners here in the race today. As Mr. J Giggles headed down, gonna go for that Moonfall. Not going for the Swishy Swoop though, as I like to call it. Sloters is getting ready to go. All Real Cutie is ready to go as well. Cold Chiefs not, Cold Chiefs not getting the quick duel while Benergetic does. That makes up all the time, all the difference. Benergetic able to pull back into the lead. All right, one, two, three, JRF going for that early ice. Benergetic grabbing that various two. Colty's grabbing the various two. PJ Mexican here about to take on Craig. Let's see how he is able to handle it here. Crossing himself for good luck. Oh my, how is this going to go down? PJ Mexican, our prayers, our thoughts are with you. We've got Swap Space here about to head to create as well. Krokemeyer coming downtown. One, two, three, four. We do have the quick a lot of PJ Mexican. He's got to be relieved. That has been an Achilles heel in prior matches. However, not picking up any supers. That is a definitely a bold strategy, Cotton. We'll see if it pays off. P okay, Google, turn off the alarm. And then at Arc. Arc should be going now. All right, here we go. All right, we've got one, two, three, JRF here coming up. We got Benedetic headed down, Colchis headed out of Crade, while PJ Mexican making his way out of Crade as well. Arc is able to go, Arc is going. We have all nine runners running here today. Good luck, everybody. We are now into it. PJ Mexican choosing to get the energy tank. We have a definitely an interesting alpha spark by 123JRF. Not able to make it through the door, however. Benergetic trying to make it through, grabbing that energy tank while Colchie is just a little bit behind him, grabbing the energy tank as well. PJ Mexican headed out of crate. We've got Swap the space here, grabbing that various. So we headed out. Coco Mayer about to grab charge. Mr. J Giggles headed down the bomb salute with Sloters. Headed out of series, a real cutie, real close behind, a little bit of a fall there, gonna, oh, 4307. All right, we've got Sloters headed two over two. Zebeth, a real cutie, is close behind. Mr. J. Giggles taking on Bomb Chalupa. We've got one of the JRF making that ice climb up the tower while Benergetic has those high jump boots about to grab the energy tank as Colt Chiefs here. About to head back and uh, not sure. Oh, has to kill the guy. That makes sense. Okay. That's a little bit different of a strategy there. While PJ Mexican having to hop twice just like a bunny rabbit to get those high jump boots. Mr. J Giggles done with the bomb chalupa now. While Sloters is about to head down the parlor. A real cutie a little bit behind. That's due to the odds that we'll see if a real cutie is able to make up any time. Or Sloters will in fact increase that gap. Mr. J Giggles here going for the Alcatraz. Oh! A little bit of a fall by Mr. J Giggles twice. He's got, you can tell there's definitely some rust from running the hundo, which has been his route lately. The rust is showing a little bit here, but you gotta give Mr. J Giggles credit for competing in this race, despite the fact that he's not even running any percent right now, just hundo. He is a great sport, a great competitor. I am glad to call him a part of the Dog Pound and a friend, just like every runner here and everybody in the Dog Pound. I am glad to have everybody here. Once again, make sure that you show everybody racing here today your support. Drop them a follow. Drop them a like. You want to watch these competitors. 1, 2, 3, Jarrah, Fenergetic, Colchis, PJ Mexican, Swap Space, Krokemeyer, Mr. Jagiggles, Floaters, and a real cutie. All right, one, two, three, JRF here headed over to cross the moat. Benergetic headed to wave with Colchi shortly behind. Looks like Benergetic has made actually a little bit more time as PJ Mexican headed up Bubble Button Mountain, and he makes it up no problems at all. While Mr. J Giggles about to grab Super's Krokemeyer coming into trade. Will we see the quick kill? What kind of a quick kill will we see here? Today by Krokemeyer, will it be the 3-2 or 3-1 or whatever the heck it is? Or will it be the slow four? 
Slow for my personal preference, just I feel it's a little bit easier, but not everybody agrees. Looks like Kuro's going for the slow four as well, and he nails it. No problems whatsoever here for the Krokemeyer, Lord of the Meme. We've got Slowders here using the wall jump climb. Up, up, up the climb as a real cutie coming in as well. What kind? I imagine a real cutie will be using the wall jump as well, and I am right. A little bit more dangerous as you can see there. Having a little bit of difficulty making it up as Slaughter is making it up the farther with no difficulty. Mr. Jagiggles here going for the down back, pulling it off with no difficulty. He is definitely very technical. One of our most technical runners here as PGA Mexican headed out of the speed booster. We've got 1, 2, 3, JRF. Looks like he might have had a little bit of difficulty with his moat here. He is not going for the spark here. I'd assume to conserve energy. Definitely makes things a little bit more difficult sometimes. We'll see if this strategy pays off. We have Benergetic coming out of the room here of Wave. Gonna... Thought he was already through Wave. Maybe I was wrong. Cold Chase out of Wave as well. Maybe that was 123JRF who had done that. Alright, we've got Sloters here. He has taken out the Bomb Chalupa while a real cutie has not. That means Sloters has pulled ahead here of a real cutie we'll see how this works out a real cutie's got some time to make up here we're gonna see how this turns out as Sloter's just burning his way through the race today we've got mr jagiggles making the jump over across is he gonna get the damage boost Ooh, a nice little backup wall jump there as one two three jrf into one of the hardest bosses to get consistent in the game in my opinion fantoon Woody not even in the race and smack talking a real cutie. We've got Benergetic here going for early ice as is Cold Cheese. Definitely a good strategy for some runners. All right, we've got 123JRF in a little bit of danger here, but not too much. Still at 246. Just going to be, looks like a little bit of a slow fanny here. All right, Cold Cheese and Benergetic both grabbing the ice. Benergetic whipping on the first attempt, giving a few seconds back to Cold Cheese. Fabasaurus Rex, how are you doing here today? PGA Mexican here going for a little bit of a farm there on the way up to the Red Tower as Swap Space trying to make the way out. Has to give up on the northern route going for the south. Who would have thought that Swap Space would think the south is the best way to go? We've got Krokemeyer here headed across, gonna head over to the cathedral, gonna see an excellent display here, I'm sure. Oh, sorry, it's Doc. Oh, so Woody's account is being controlled by Doc. So it's Doc makes Streamy with the shade. We've got 1-3-JRF down to 151. Still not really in any danger here, but he is losing time that Benergetic and Colchich might be able to capitalize on. We'll see how this works. All right, we've got PGA Mexican coming here as well. He's making his way up the red tower swap space. Quick on his heels, gonna be heading up business center as Krokemeyer is headed in to get wave. We've got Mr. Jake Eagles taking out Craig, no problem whatsoever, as we expected on his way out with those quick shots. Soldiers grabbing charge beam, a real cutie making the way over to the big pink room. Gonna head to those missiles as 123JRF is able to take down Fantoon. Venergetic choosing to grab Spazer on the way to. Um, on the on the way to Fantoon, throw me for a bit of a loop, as you can see. Um, Colchis making the way up without the hero shot, obviously going with the ice route. Benergetic having a little bit of difficulty crossing the water here. Gonna make the way up the red tower. PJ Mexican damage boosting through, about to get over to the power bombs. We've got Mr. J Giggles headed down now. He is headed down, down the business center. Lots of touches here. He's just touching everything like he touches himself. Woo! We've got Sloters coming across here with some interesting strategies while a real cutie trying to make up that time about to head into Red Tower as Sloters heads into Kraid. 1, 2, 3, JRF. Are we going to see the spark here? Going for a little bit of extra farming. Not sure that's strictly necessary, but safeties cannot hurt in a race setting just like this one. Benergetic, however, succumbing to the yapping maw, allowing Colchis definitely to pull ahead by quite a bit now. 
Colties has retaken the lead on Benergetic. It has been back and forth between these two runners, however. 1, 2, 3, JRF. Oh, not realizing that there was one of these packers left. Little bit of a problem there. As Cold Chase here, a power bomb in his way through. Entered Benergetic grabbing those power bombs. PJ Mexican getting hot on the heels, about to overtake Cold Chase. Both runners definitely doing very well here today. All right, we've got one, two, three, JRF not able to take that little bit out as PJ Mexican shine sparking across the moat. We've got grabbing those missiles. Not sure if that was intentional. Or not. I know sometimes he does grab that for safety. As swap space here, hot on everybody's heels as well. Hot on PGA's heels. Krogelmeyer headed out, gonna be making his way up the red tower shortly. Sloters, no problem going with what looks like a four slow on Cray. No problems. Jay Giggles headed over to get that speed boost while Elbrio Cutie here in at Craig making up a little bit of time on Sloters. Swap Space having a uh, interesting spark there. Um, I'm assuming that was meant to be an ocean fly. Uh, definitely going to cause some energy, making things a little bit more difficult here while it does give PGA Mexican some breathing room. Energetic sparking across almost at the same time as Swap Space. Swap Space just a little bit ahead of Energetic now. As Coltrees is taking on Phantom PGA Mexican. Must have had a little bit of a slip up to fall behind Coltrees, but it don't matter. That can happen to anybody, and Fantoon makes losers of us all. Swap Space across the moat. Krokemeyer up the red tower. Jay Giggles headed out. Gonna go over to Wave while Sloters headed over to and out of Craig, gonna make the way down to Business Center. All the real cutie just a little bit behind. All right, Jay Giggles, no difficulty whatsoever with those technical moves. Once again, as I said, Jay Giggles is a very technical runner. You just saw his PB go down and down when he was working on any percent. 1, 2, 3, JRF added down, doing a little bit of farming as well. While Benergetic is about to head into Fantoon, Colchi is struggling just a little bit here with Fantoon. PJ Mexican definitely in the lead. We're going to see how this works out for him. Hopefully he knows that it should only take two and a super to take him out now. We will see how this works out. All right, PJ is going to take no chances while Swap Space definitely has caught up to our runners. 1, 2, 3, JRF headed over back to the Yapping Ma room. All right, we have Fantoon. Oh, not down. Hopefully he wasn't listening to me. I thought it was ready for a 2-1. We're gonna turn on his audio for a second. We're gonna turn on his audio for a second. Yes, he could definitely hear me. Yeah, you really fucked me there, pal. Yeah, really fucked you. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Really fucked you. Up. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> Oops. Would have been a 2 2 1. That's my bad. All right. All right. We doesn't matter. PJ Mexican still ahead of Swap Space, who's having a little bit of difficulty here. Does finally finish off Fantoon. Krokemeyer headed into Fantoon. Jay Giggles headed up Red Tower. Sloters headed out. Air of. Oh. The speed boost, oh real crudy about to grab speed boost. Alright, we've got 1, 2, 3, JRF grabbing those safety missiles. We got Benergetic here grabbing Fantoon. About to take him down. Fantoon is down. Colchish headed over to bowling. PJ Mexican in the attic. As Swap Space headed over to those super missiles, Krokemeyer still working on Fantoon. Some slow patterns here for Fantoon, however. 
We do have the four shot by Croak as Mr. J Giggles headed up. So Croak is going to be the closest competitor here that's coming up on TJ Mexican Hills. That's really who we need to worry about here as Colchie's making his way across of the bowling. All right, we've got PJ Mexican here headed across, not choosing to forego the farm here. Could have saved a little bit of that time that was lost. Um, gonna make his way across. We've got a spark by Swappy. Still a little bit behind PJ Mexican as Krokemeyer is about to head over to get those super missiles. We've got one degree JRF working on Batum. Definitely taking a safe strategy here, not going for the fast kill. They're not going. PGA Mexican going to take a shit as 123JRF still continuing to work on the penis snake himself, Batwoon. We got Benergetic here taking out the enemies in the attic. Colchish dies. What happened to Colchish? Where was that death? All right, sorry for that intermission. We do have Cold Chase taken down. That is our first runner down. First runner down, just still anybody's race. All you've got to do is survive. War Drinker, how you doing? Glad to see you here. Good attempt, Keish. Love you. Cheesh, not Keish. Those are two separate people. We've got PGA Mexican here headed down. Gonna head to Meridia. Benergetic, he has now passed up. Benergetic, swap space is uh, definitely falling a little bit farther behind PGA Mexican, it looks like, than he was. Not sure where that time loss was. Uh, definitely a little bit low on energy though, so a Sloters refill could be actually happening in a race with Sloters. We're going to see what happens here as Mr. J Giggles is out of Fantoon. Sloters is out of Fantoon as is headed over to Fantoon. And oh, real cutie about to cross the moat. All right, we've got one degree JRF here in Dragon. But 173, not a good amount of health. This is getting dangerous for our good friend here. This is dangerous. How will 123 JRF keep going? All right, Benergetic here coming across the Yapping Maw Room. Uh, and I'm looking here, it looks like. Crocomire uh, headed down the Red Tower, hot on the heels. And it looks like we have Swap Space headed over to up the Batum. Made up a little bit of time on PGA Mexican, actually. But that fall is going to give him another few seconds. We do have Krokemeyer here headed across while Jay Giggles is making great pace here. All right, Mr. Jay Giggles going to go, going to spark, going to make it up. He is definitely not. I'm looking at the wrong people. The wreck ship was ass, according to Jay Giggles. PGA Mexican end of Bot. Wound. A bot tune quick kill could definitely make some time. He's got one. Can he do it? Oh shit, dog. Oh. 
She's gonna go the missile route. Definitely a uh, interesting choice there to take out Batun, not gaining the time. Batun is down, however, still ahead of Swazbase, who chooses to farm a little bit. Definitely a good strategy because he has very, very low energy at this point. While Krokemeyer has sparked up, up, up Everest. And we're gonna see how he is able to handle Batun here. A real cutie done with Fantoon as well. Batun for swap space. Ooh, not getting the quick. Oh, a Kojak. Swap space given PGA the same amount of time that PGA gave away. Maybe saved a little bit of time. PGA Meskin, however, giving away a lot of time with this farm here. That could cost our intrepid runner. All right, we have Krokemeyer here headed across going for. Okay, we've got it. One. Two, three, four. Oh, two, two miss there. This is going to be dangerous for our runner here today. He does grab him though, closing in on PJM Mexican and Swap Space both. All right, we've got Mr. Jiggles headed across the vagina room, getting spiked up the ass everywhere as Sloters making its way over to bowling. A real cutie hot on his heels. A real cutie has really made a comeback here against Slores. We're gonna see how this goes. Oh, we do have the spark here. We have a spark by a real cutie as well. Cutie is really, really hot on Sloter's tail. We're gonna see how this pays, how this works out. We've got Mr. J Giggles now headed across. Gonna be breaking that tube just like he broke. I don't even know where I was going with that, but PGA Mexican, he can definitely make up some time here with a good uh, Dragon. Dragon is one of those bosses that is difficult to pull off. We have 123JRF coming across here. Benergetic gonna be crossing the sand pit as Swap Space headed into Dre Dre as well. Krokemeyer, a little bit of difficulty here, not getting a full AF. He's not sure if he went for one, however. He's coming across. He's making his way downtown to Dragon as well. We're gonna see how this works out. We do have a good spark there by PJ Mesic and Swap Space getting ready for that first spark. We've got PJ using those missiles to his advantage. It could be one more spark. Will it be one more spark? Oh, he's just going to go for the missile strategy here. We're going to see how this spark pays off for him here today. We do not have a charge. This is unfortunate. We're going to lose a little bit of time. Swap Space fighting Dre Dre. Not having the great spark luck either. It looks like we have Krokemeyer getting ready for that first spark as well. We have a vertical spark by PJ Mexican. Once again, a very interesting trade. He's going to have one more spark here to go for. Oh, Swap Space sparking, but a little early, not taking him out. It is so close between these two runners. While Krokemeyer going for the X's. Doesn't look like those X's hit, however. All right, boom. We've got the shots here. Swap Space having the same. Oh, Swap Space taking him down with only 95 energy left. We've got Benergetic in. We've got Krokemeyer taking him down. PJ Mexican and Swap Space and Krokemeyer all within seconds of each other with Jay Giggles not on there. He's about to cross the sand pit while Slaughters is about to break the tube. Cutie is about, oh, to break the tube as well. It's getting even closer here. Everybody is really starting to get close here in this race. It's getting dangerous, just like Darkwing Duck always told me. Woo! I am not going to be able to speak after today. All right, 123JRF headed down here. Ooh, Banergetic! A rip! Oh my, that is unfortunate. That is not what we like to see here. Benergetic, I apologize greatly. That was a great run for a very young runner in the community. Thank you for being part. Thank you for taking part in the race. Make sure you give Colchich and Benergetic both a follow. Both of them definitely deserve to have follows here. All right, 123JRF doing a little bit of farming here. Mr. Jack Eagles in. 
Van Dragon. We've got Sloters having no difficulty with the Penis Snake himself. A real cutie taking it down the Penis Snake right behind Sloters. While Mr. J Giggles going for that very, very technical spark suit. Not sure. He, it does not look like he got it. Uh, did he get that? Is that is that a spark? I don't even know what a spike suit gives. Oh my, Woody's gonna be not happy with you, Doc. And just for everybody who's here, let's give some good bones. Because everybody here deserves to be boned, right? Let's give you all 5,000 bones just for being here for this race here today. Glad to see you. Glad to have you. PGA Mexican here making up some time. Just a little bit behind Swap Space. Is he going to be able to pull ahead? It's very close between these two while Krokemeyer already has Plasma. All right, Krokemeyer is headed out of Plasma, has pulled ahead of all of the runners ahead of him at this point, with the one exception of 123JRF, who's still ahead of everybody else. He is managing to maintain his lead, but Krokemeyer is going to be coming up on him fast. We're going to see how this works out. You're welcome for the bones, Doc. Don't know why the uh, Twitch alert didn't go off, so I'll repeat that. It looks like it was muted. Thank you for your There support. we go. Cheering myself for a glad split lol. All right, we've got Sloters here taking down Dre going for the spike suit as well. Not able to pull it off. Looks like a real cutie not getting the spike suit either. As far as I can tell, Sloters however does have the blue suit. All right, we've got the next song on the list because this one is not working out for me. All right, Krokemeyer headed down the elevator. Swap Space headed across PGA Mexican, however, falling a little bit behind. Oh, Swap Space is the same thing happened to him. Definitely a little bit slow of a jump there. While under three, JRF is headed down the Ridley, maintaining his lead. Let's take a look right here. His PB is... 1 hour... Four minutes and 21 seconds. He could be on pace for a PV here today. PJ Mexican looking to make up that time. Same with Swap Space and Krokemeyer. Krokemeyer is make, just increasing that lead between PGA Mexican and Swap Space. Krokemeyer pulling that ice beam out as Swap Space and PJ Mexican are both headed down that way. PJ Mexican just a little bit here ahead of Swap Space. Pulled just the tiniest bit ahead while Jake Eagles is going to hope not to repeat the other two runners. All right, PGA Mexican here going boom. Thank you for the little, little bitties, though, Benergetic. Thank you so much. All right, we've got PGA Mexican about to grab ice. We've got Swap Space here about to grab ice as well. Mr. Jiggles having no difficulty catching up to our runners here. Going to want to make up some of that time on Krokemeyer. We're going to see where that time comes in, however. We've got Sloters here headed about to grab the Plasma. A real cutie falling a little bit further behind. Actually, Sloters able to actually keep that lead up. We're going to see how that's going. We do not have a runner's command. I'm sorry, Benergetic. That's because it changes every month, and that's a lot of work. And I'm lazy. All right, so we've got PJ Mexican headed down, taking the southern route. We've got Mr. Jagiggles with that fantastic mock ball. We've got Sloters coming down and down out. A real cutie hot on the heels, trying to make up some of that time that was lost here. Sw Sloters really definitely showing that he's got some chops here in this any percent handicap. Right, one, two, three, JRF with the host. Thank you so much for the singular host. One, two, three, JRF. It looks like he died. I'm. Oh, did he? He did not die. Why did it freeze? I don't know why it froze. Oh, but he did. He did, in fact, die. That is unfortunate. I am sorry to hear that, bud. Looks like it's anybody's race. The top of the race is now actually gone. We're going to see how this works out for our runners here today. We are sorry to hear that, 123JRF. Oh, no. All right, it's anybody's game at this point. PGI Mexican slightly ahead of Swap Space. Krokemeyer definitely has passed both of them, while Jag Eagles is hot on their heels. Sloters and a real cutie within spitting distance of each other. Yo, Neil Zuki, how you doing? 
Thank you so much, Neil Zuki. I love my shirt. What you doing? All right, PJ Mexican still a little bit ahead of Swap Space. Krokemeyer making his way over to do the donkey roll. Trademark PGA Mexican. All right, Sloters is headed across here. Gonna go grab that ice. A real cutie, definitely right on the heels. Mr. J Giggles headed down to Lower Norfair as well. We've got PJ Mexican going with the power bomb strategy to just power bomb his way through the pillars. Swap Space was trying to go for fast pillars, almost had it just a second off swap space that's gonna hurt him a little bit as Krokemeyer trying to clear the guys out gets the wrong kind of spark it looks like coming through Krokemeyer's health a little bit scary at this point 352 though eh, I guess it's not too bad Mr. Jagged goes for going the fast pillars as well while a real cutie falling in the lava making the way out Sloters is here definitely has pulled some time on a real cutie Making back that time. It's just a back and forth tug of war between these two runners here today. PGA Mexican going for the donkey roll as well. Remember, P trademark PGA Mexican. Swap Space has the donkey roll as well. Trademark PGA Mexican. Swap Space is headed up. PGA Mexican just slightly ahead. While Krokemeyer is about to take on the big, mean, armored space pirates. No donkey roll for Jay Giggles. Says, I'm sorry, I don't do what my tutor, what my tutor people do. PJ Mexican gonna have his donkey roll. We've got Sloters here about to head down, going for the uh, interesting strategy there. Uh, that is definitely an older out type of strat, newer out type of strategy that I've seen. A real cutie hot on the heels, however, making up some of that time, going for the same strategy. Mr. J Giggles headed down and downtown, uh, trying to catch up here to Swap Face and PGA Mexican. He's getting quite close as Krogemeyer is the first to take on Ridley. Played hard, trying. Oh, real cute says the South will not rise again. I did not want to do three Jera. Not offhand. Mr. J Giggles trying to go for the Kegel exercises. Not able to pull it off. Giving PJ Mexican and Swap Space a little bit of leeway here while Krokemeyer continues to just dominate working on Ridley here. A real cutie with the fast pillar soldiers with the donkey roll TM PJ Mexican. A real cutie here headed up through the worst room in the game. We're going to see if we get another donkey roll TM PJ Mexican. <laughs> All right, coming up, and let's see, and another donkey roll. TM PJ Mexican. <laughs> well, PJ Mexican headed across here to go over to Ridley, going for a little bit of a farm, which allows Swap Space to pull ahead. We're gonna see how this pays off, or if it doesn't, looks like Swap Space going for a little bit of a farm here as well. PJ Mexican could get started here, gonna try and preserve that lead. Oh. Swap Space is going in right before PJ Mexican, but does have that full health. We're going to see how this works out for our runners here today. Oh, a little bit of difficulty with that door as Swap Space in. We have Krogemeyer already making his way out of Lauren Airfare, just increasing that lead. We're going to see how PJ Mexican deals with Ridley here. It's Swap Space versus PJ Mexican versus Mr. J Giggles, who has caught up to both of them. J Giggles definitely a little bit ahead while Floaters is making his way through as well. A real cutie headed down is. Oh, real cutie, gonna do the Kaggle exercises. One Kaggle. No, only one Kaggle exercise here to be had today. All right, Mr. J Giggles getting gripped by Ridley. Definitely, is he gonna go for that safety tank? He is not gonna go for the safety tank. Gonna make his way quite out. PJ Mexican about to finish off Ridley. Swap Space about to finish off Ridley. Sloters in at Ridley. Oh, real cutie hot on the heels. Looks like a lost a little bit of time after gaining some. We got PJ Mexican continuing to shoot those plasma beams right up, up the ass. The ass of Ridley while Swap Space has fallen. It looks like a bit behind PJ Mexican in the fight against Ridley. But now with those supers, he has definitely pulled ahead. We're gonna see how this works out. Swap Space definitely good on energy. PJ Mexican a little bit scary. PJ Mexican does finish off Ridley just moments before Swap Space is able to take him out. Krogemeyer still making his way out. An excellent escape here while all real cutie slurs both fighting in Ridley. Our runners are so close here today. This is a fantastic race that we are all here for today. PGA Mexican headed out of Ridley. Swap Space headed out of Ridley as well. They are so close. A little bit of a stumble by Swap Space as Mr. Dragoggle picks his way out. Slaughter's out, finished off Ridley. 
Ridley. Oh, real cutie. Finished off Ridley as well. Gonna make the way out. We've got PJ Mexican headed out on the escape. Swap plays headed out on the escape. Just a few seconds behind PJ Mexican. While Krokemeyer continues to increase his lead all the way to Bubble Button Mountain. Mr. Dick Eagles, one of our most technical runners, making the way out, has surpassed both PJ Mexican and Swap Space here. Making his way uptown. Walking fast. Gonna make sure he takes out all the space players on the way out on blast. All right, oh, real cutie here trying to make up some time on Sloters as he makes his way out with the jump, with the damage, which you know he was practicing that earlier today. BJ Mexican here gonna make his way out over to the three musketeers while Krokemeyer headed up to that elevator. Oh my baby. We've got PJ Mexican making his way out. Swap space just a second behind him. Krokemeyer headed up that elevator as Mr. J. Giggles wishing, wishing, uh, swooping, swapping his way through the room. Is he going to go for damage boost here to make up some of that time? Nope, he is going to kill him. He knows he has to make up some time on Krokemeyer. And there is not a lot of time left for our runners here today. As Sloters trying his best to catch up. A real cutie trying to decrease that lead as well. Looks like a few more seconds may have been lost. But it is still very much anybody's race. Depends on that baby skip. Baby Skip can make anything happen at any time in any run. We've got PGA Mexican here going, going, while we've got Swap Space coming, coming. All right. All right, PJ Mexican, not going for the swishy swoopy through there. We got Swap Space. Looks like Swap Space has pulled slightly ahead of PJ Mexican here. Krokemeyer just increasing that lead as Mr. J Giggles is going to try and decrease that lead. Headed up, yep, he has increased his lead a little bit on both PJ Mexican and Swap Space as a real cutie on his way out. A real cutie looks like a real cutie and Slaughters have both pulled a little bit ahead of PJ Mexican and Swap Space here near the end of the race. Yep, we definitely have both those runners a little bit ahead. Swap space a little bit ahead of PJ Mexican. It's close. It's close. Lost a little bit of time. They're not have not using the power bombs. Not sure about that strategy. While Slaughters is making his way up the elevator. A real cutie trying to catch up here. While Krokemeyer headed over to the Golden Four. To G4. Just so you know, everybody, exclamation point bones is how you show your points. Exclamation point leaderboard will show the leaderboard. Once again, I want to make sure that everybody gives some good credit here to 123JRA, Benergetic, Cold Cheese, PGM Mexican, Swap Space, Krokemeyer, Mr. Jack Eagle, Sloters, and A Real Cutie. Make sure you give all of them a follow. We could not have this race without them. PGM Mexican making his way uptown. Not having any problem here. About to hit that elevator. The Swap Space just finished coming up. Just Jay Giggle is up, 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 up the elevator as well. Mr. Jay Giggles making his way up to the surface while Sloters hot on Jay Giggles heels. A real cutie making the way up as well. It's getting close, guys. Jay Giggles running neck and neck with Sloters with Krokemeyer here at G4 at the Golden Girls. Letting them fall, fall down. All right, we will see you later. One, two, three, three, underscore H. All right, PJ Mexican headed up here. Gonna be making his way to the escape. Swap space here, having a good time. While Krokemeyer is down in two. Turing. Jay Giggles about to go into G4 as well. Sloters has lost a little bit of time on Jay Giggles, actually. Coming over here, Jay Giggles has gained some time. All right, we have PGA Mexican here going for the farm, looking to just complete the race as Swap Space is coming up to the surface. Krokemeyer here in the Metroid room, having no difficulty with those fast Metroid strats whatsoever, as all real cutie about to get to G4 as well. Mr. Jack Eagle Sloters so close. All right, we got a glod by Mr. Jay Giggles apparently. Oh, or by Sloters, rather, it's a glod. All right, we've got Swappy Space going for the save. 
Definitely a safe strategy here, just in case that's do Evan Kropemeyer about to take on the baby skip. Is he going to be able to pull it off? Sloters is about to go down. Jay is already down the elevator. A real cutie about to head down as well. Ooh, Krokemeyer getting tagged. That's going to give both Jay Giggles and Sloter a little bit of a chance to catch up, but will it be enough? That's the question. Both runners definitely have to power through here if they want to catch up to our front runner, Krokemeyer. There is not a lot of game left. All right, PGA Mexican here coming through. He's headed down to G4 as well. Swapspace already in G4. All of our runners still so close. One of the closest Dog Pound Classics we've ever had. All right, so we've got, oh, a real cutie going there and losing a little bit of time, it looks like. Not too much, though. Mr. J Giggles, he's through the room. He's going to go for the baby skip. Krokemeyer still had it down. It still looks like it's Krokemeyer's game to lose, guys. All right, looks like Krokemeyer shows a 45-54. And uh, I love Shre uh, Wardringer. The uh, timers wouldn't be uh, synced because they most of the runners here uh, used offsets, negative offsets for their offset times. So that's why everybody's going to look a little different. So we're going to see how this is going to go here. All right, Krokemeyer into Mother Brain. Swatspace having a little bit of difficulty with the Metroid. It's going to give PGM Essen a little bit of a chance to catch up here if he's able to pull it off. Jay Giggles, however, does not look like he got the quick kill. And Sloters, it looks like Sloters did get the baby skip is what I mean to say. A real cutie grabbing that baby skip as well. No problem whatsoever. A real cutie now going to be trying to make up time on Sloters. Jay Giggles lost that lead. He was on pace for second place. This is really what this run is, a pace for second place. Especially since we have four tanks here for Krokemeyer. He went safe. All right, Jay Giggles coming down here. It could be anybody's game. Krokemeyer already has the ketchup out of the way. Krokemeyer, it's his race to lose. It's a race for second place here. Mr. J Giggles coming in with three tanks. We've got Sloters with three tanks. We have a real cutie with three tanks. Anybody could get second place at this point. It is so close. PJ Mexican headed that way as well. Gonna hope to have some good times here. Gonna hope for that baby skip. All right, Swapspace and Swapspace is a baby skip. Let's see how this goes. All right, all of our runners in. No catch-ups yet. Looks like all the energy is good so far. Sloters looks like he's in the lead. Sloters is in the lead. Short of a disastrous escape, it should be Croak Sloters. Then it's the race between Jay Giggs and All Real Cutie for third. I don't know what Croak's PB is. I'd have to look it up. Krokemeyer's PB is... Two, two, two. Go back a little more. 50-48. Fifty forty-eight. So I don't think so. I don't know how long it takes to get out from here. PGA Messing going for the refill. It looks like Swap Space a little bit ahead as well. Doesn't look like either of them were able to grab that baby skip here. While we have Mr. J Giggles done, we've got a real cutie done. We've got Sloters, all of them done with the dangerous part of the Mother Brain fight while Krokemeyer's just cleaning up the trash. He's going to PB. I don't know the times that well. We have had a surprisingly large amount of people PB in Dog Pound Classics. Usually a PB means a win. P 
EJ messing and messing up just a little bit there. Gonna go back for round two. Should have no difficulty whatsoever. Swap space into Mother Brain. Still anybody's game here. Technically. Krokemeyer going, going for that PB. Will he be able to get it? He's got about a minute left to escape. Will he do it? Drifting on the ocean, sometimes I pass by. That did not work like I was hoping. There for me. Oops. His PB is a 50 48. He's at 50. He's got 40 seconds left to escape. We're going to see how this goes. Watch closely on Krokemeyer's screen. Everybody watch with bated breath. Is he going to get it? 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 12. Oh my lord! That is a 10 second PB for Krogemeyer. Oh my. Congratulations, Krokemeyer coming in first place. Slaughter's here finishing up with O'Real Cutie high in the heels. Jay Giggles just a little bit behind O'Real Cutie. While we've got PJ Mexican, looks like he may have ripped. I'm not sure if he ripped. Let's go unmute him. What happened there, PJ Mexican? I miss you, your colors. I feel like I'm going under. Hello? I'm coasting on a riptide. We're unmuting all of our runners now in case they want to talk. I can't sleep when you're gone. If you're a runner and you wish to talk and get back in, go right ahead. That was very close. We have a real cutie finishing up, Slaughter's finishing up, Jay Giggles finishing up, Swath Face just finishing out as well. So true. All right, we just got Swamp Space finish out. We have everybody here unmuted. Anybody want to say anything? Sloters, Krokemeyer, well, Krokemeyer doesn't talk. Mr. Jay Giggles and Sloters are both still in here. Either of you want to say any words to our audience? Uh, heck, cutie. That's about <laughs> it. You did beat a real I, cutie. I concur with heck, cutie. Um. <laughs> it was it was a this was a very close race dude that was the best escape in mother brain 3 i have legitimately nice. ever had like that was a two and a half second gold off of my previous gold that's insane this this was a great race nine people too we had four five people finish after sloth space comes in so I've got to get a hold of Krokemeyer because I'm assuming he's going to want a game because he doesn't want merch. Fair. He doesn't want God, me to know at, where he lives. Just <laughs> look at the credits. like the They're so close. Were just right there. <laughs> oh my. Yes, this was a great race. So, Soldiers, will you be competing again? Uh, Definitely, yeah. This was pretty cool. I had it up the whole time watching. It's, it's crazy how everyone like starts to sync up towards the end. Yep. <laughs> It's so much fun. It's the first Saturday of every month at either 6 or 7 Eastern, uh, depending on what everybody agrees on. Six, that way, it's got an hour leeway for people. Uh, only thing you got to do to sign up is between now and the first Saturday of January, uh, post in your PB and that you want in on the next race, and um, you'll be added. Hey, awesome. Sloters. Since you're on the uh, tournament organizing group, do you want to... Uh... Tell me when the first handicap tournament is. Uh, I don't know. We we haven't done that one yet, so I guess we're kind of due for it, right? Right. <laughs> I'm just saying I can lend my expertise if you need some help. I've been running this for, what, almost a year now? About that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's definitely, it's a, it's a really interesting idea because... It's hard when people have, like, different PBs, like, trying to come up with handicaps, but this... This seems to work pretty well as long as everyone's got like a 
a pretty respected PB for themselves. Yeah, it is. It, 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 well, and it works out too. Like, yeah, a, a lower runner can get like a 10 minute PB and somebody at the top's not going to get that. But if they do poorly, they're probably going to be 10 minutes behind their PB. Whereas like, like you guys, you were behind your PB. It was like a minute and a half. Right. So it, it, it works out both ways. There's advantages and disadvantages on both sides of being fast and slow. There's a lot more consistency usually at the top. Where'd you finish, Slutters? Plus 40? Uh, let me see. I'm still looking at my sum of best. Plus 27. Holy cow. That's usually a plus 27 has a chance to win most times. Yeah. And But Krokemeyer pulling out that 10-second PB. Just absolutely balling it out. All right, is anybody here going to be continuing to uh, stream after this? I actually might do a hundo run. All right, well, you were the first to say something, so you're getting the host. Oh, God. That means I'm obligated to do a hundo run now. Yeah, you are. <laughs> so All right. that... All right, well, thank you, everybody, for being here. Thank you for being friends. I'll get the prizes distributed out and taken care of after this. Loaders, I'll be in touch with you via uh, DM. Same with um, Krokemeyer. Thanks, everybody. You could have been doing anything with your time. You chose to spend it here with us, watching the Dog Pound Class for the first Saturday of every month. Once again, make sure you follow 123JRF, Benergetic, Cold Cheats, PGA Mexican, Swathface, Krokemeyer, Mr. J. Giggles, Sloters, and A Real Cutie. Have a great day. Great, great rest of your day. Thank you guys all for being here.